Hello everyone and welcome to another hard time for mining lesson from the iron workshop. In this lesson we're going to learn how to create a new bookmark, a new starting date in the game. And please note that creating the bookmarks themselves is quite easy, but you do have to fill them with content, otherwise they're quite useless. Uh, obviously the game will not be creating all that content for you. So the first thing that we will have to do is to create our mod file. So let me just open the hard time for launcher. We'll go to mod. In here, we'll go to mod tools. Create mod. And let's just call this one the bookmark mod. We'll give it a version. And we'll just give it a folder and select a tag. Create mod. Excellent. So our mod folder is created. And we can now move on to the next step, creating the folder structure. So let me just open my mod folder in here. If you don't know, it's located in Documents, Paradox Interactive, Hardtrain 4, Mod. And we'll open the Hardtrain 4 vanilla or the root folder of the game. And from here, we'll need the following folders and files. So first of all, the common folder. Inside of that, there's a folder called bookmarks. So let's create that one. And from here, we'll copy one of these bookmark files. Doesn't really matter which one since they're quite similar and just put it in here for now. Next, from the common folder, we will need the defines folder. And from here, we'll need the 00 defines file. So let's just copy that. And now let's copy our graphic folders. So we'll, we'll recreate the GFX folder. And from here, we will create the interface folder. Now in here, uh, we will take the original bookmark graphic file so that we can edit it and change it to whatever we need. So the bookmark files are called select, date, and then the date of the bookmark. So let's just find one of these. All right, so I'll copy this one over so that we can have it in here. Excellent. Now the next folder that I want to create is the interface folder. And from here, I'm going to take one of these .gfx files. It doesn't really matter which ones, but let's, for example, take this one called aces and just drop it inside our mod. Excellent. And now the last folder that we will need is the localization folder. And from here, I'm also going to take one of the files, one of the English files. And just copy it over to our new mod folder. All right, so these are all the files that we need to create our new bookmark. And we're finished with step number two. Now we'll go to step number three, editing the bookmark files. Okay, so the game uses the bookmark files to read all the data about your new bookmarks. So we'll go to the file located in common, bookmarks. And let's just open it. Now, before I open it, I will change it to the new bookmark that I'm creating. So let's just say that I'm creating 2000 year bookmark. So let's open that and see what we have in here. So the first line that we have is the name of your bookmark. Now, this is the reference to the localization file 
that's located in the localization folder. But note that you can just put your own name in here without actually referencing another file. So for example, I can just put in here new dawn bookmark. And this is a reference to the uh, description. Now, since the description is usually a bit more complicated, you can uh, leave the reference or you can just type whatever you want in here. In this case, I'll reference to a localization file, which we will edit later. So we'll call it something like new dawn bookmark LOC, which is short for localization. Excellent. Now this is the date that our bookmark starts at. So I'll just change it to 2000. Let's change it to the 1st of 2000. This is the picture that's associated with our bookmark. And we will change this a bit later. This is the default country that will be selected uh, by the game when the user enters this bookmark. So uh, you can just change it in here to another, to another tag of another country in the game. So I'll just change it to England. It doesn't really matter. Next are the major countries that appear uh, at the top of the bookmark selection screen. And you can uh, remove these or add these uh, as you wish. Now, for the purpose of this example, I'm just going to remove all these other ones and we'll just keep the United Kingdom. And here is another reference to the description of that country. So for example, we can change it to England New Dawn Bookmark Description Localization. And later we'll be creating that in the localization file. This is our ideology. This is again only something that you see in the bookmark selection screen. It does not define the ideology of the country. What defines it is the history file. Next, we have some ideas that we can display uh, as interesting ideas for the United Kingdom. I'll actually leave it with France. It doesn't really matter because the game won't really check if these ideas belong to a particular country. This is only display but obviously you can change it to whatever you want. Next, we have some important or interesting focuses that this country can take. So I'll just leave it at that. Obviously, you can change it. Now, this entry lets you select other countries and it also has its own description. And uh, you can either change that or leave that, doesn't really matter. And now we have the minor countries, right? So note that these countries will only show up if they have focus trees. If they don't have focus trees and you put them in here, you put their tag in here with all of this information, they will not show up. So it's quite important that the country has its focus tree finished before you put it in here, okay? Now, again, I'm going to remove much of these just so that we have something a bit more clear and we'll just leave Poland. Then there's this line with effect and randomized weather. As you can see, this one is obligatory. So uh, you have to leave it as is. It's best not to touch this. So we can save our bookmark file. And uh, that's it. We're done with editing our bookmark file. Next, we'll be changing the defines file. You will notice that in this step, I do have an asterisk in here. And the reason for that is because you don't really have to do this step if your bookmark is within the range of the dates of the vanilla game, all right? So for example, if your new bookmark is between 1936 and 1949, then you can leave this as is. But if it's not, you will have to change the end date to let the game know when the game is finished. It will not be finished by the bookmark since that is when the game begins. So since our bookmark starts at 2000, then I will change this to 2020. And as you can see, we'll have quite a long game. Uh, now again, this step is only relevant if you are extending the original timeline of the game and you go beyond it. If you don't, then this is not really relevant. We can close this and move on to our next step, 
which is to create the bookmark graphic file. In this step, we're going to be changing our graphic file for our bookmark. So uh, as uh, you have seen before, we've copied some files in the GFX folder. So let's open that file. So we have GFX interface, select date, select date 1939. Now I'm going to change this obviously. So um, I'll give it a name which is close to the bookmark that I'm creating. So let's call it New Dawn 2000. Okay. And uh, let's open paint.net and drag this file in here. Open it. Now I'm just going to edit this file a little bit. I'm not really going to change it very much uh, just to show you how to create it. Uh, obviously you can put your own file in here if you want. Now for me, I'm just going to put some color in here. Um, let's say something like this. Okay, there we have it. We have a pink bookmark, very nice. Okay, that looks like something. Uh, <laughs> okay, so let's uh, save this one. As always, we'll be saving with this option. Okay, our file is finished. Now, note that our file will not show up since the game currently doesn't know that this file exists. So we have to tell the game that the file exists with the interface files. So let's go back to our mod, go to interface. And here I will change it to something which is more relevant to my mod. So we'll change it to new Dawn interface or graphics. And let's open this file. Now there's a lot of stuff going on in here, but we don't need most of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm only going to keep this line, which says sprite type, name and texture file. So I'm going to copy it put it at the top of the file and I'm just going to delete everything else. We don't need all of this stuff. Now the reason that I'm doing it this way and not putting my file in the vanilla file is to increase compatibility, right? Because if Paradox change the original or the vanilla reference graphic reference file, then I will have to change mine as well. But this way, my file is independent and won't be affected by changes done by Paradox. Okay, so what do we have in here? We have to give it a name. This is the name that the game will be uh, recognizing our file by. So let's call it GFX. It's usually a good idea to keep GFX at the start. And now we'll call it the new Dawn bookmark. And in here, we have to give it the, the path, right? So our file is located at, this is our mod, GFX interface, and this is the name of our file. So I'm going to take the name, I'm going to copy it. Now, please note that you also have to copy the extension, the .dds, otherwise it will not work. So copy the entire name, and let's put it in here in the end. And uh, here I'm just going to change the path to GFX interface. Okay, now please note that you don't have to put the full path of your mod in here. That's fine, the game knows to look inside the GFX folder of your mod the same way that it looks in the vanilla GFX folder. Okay, so that is our bookmark. Now we have to uh, connect th these two to let the game know to use this graphic when it's loading our bookmark. So I'll go back to the bookmark file, the one that we edited before, the one that's located in common bookmarks, all right? And in here, in the picture, I'm just going to put my new picture name in here, right? I'm going to put what's in name, okay? Not this, the name. So let's just put it in here and we can save it, done. Okay, so now we have our new graphic for our bookmark. The last thing remaining is to create our localization. So let's go ahead and do that.
All right, so we're going to do something very similar with localization uh, to what we did with the graphic to increase the compatibility of my mod. I have created a separate one, a separate uh, file. Okay, so let's go to localization and just change the name of this file. So I'm going to call it the new dawn. New dawn bookmark bookmark and let's open this file once again there's a lot of stuff in here I really don't need all of this so I'm just going to remove all of this stuff and just keep the first entry so that I have some kind of a reference excellent and I'm going to open my bookmark file again and now I'm just going to fill whatever I need in here, right? So we have our description, new dawn bookmark localization. I'm going to copy it over. I'm going to put it in here. And now I'm going to write my new description. So the new dawn millennium, probably misspell that. Yeah, of course is awesome you should play it excellent okay now uh, in here we also have our england new dawn bookmark description so let's copy that over as well and put it in here uh, united kingdom is awesome in the new dawn play it Excellent. Okay. Uh, now here we will have the old descriptions and you can change them as you want. Also Poland will have the vanilla description. I'm not going to change all of these now. I believe you got the idea. Okay. Uh, so that is it. Just put everything you are referencing in here. Uh, if you are not referencing, then you can input direct text as long as it's short. And as long as it doesn't have any special formatting. You can usually just put quotation marks and put the text directly. If you need, uh, if you need it to be in a reference, if you need to be in one file to make things more organized, it's usually a good idea to reference the entries to some kind of a localization file. Okay, so we have done that. Now, uh, the last step is me telling you that the secondary countries will not appear without focus trees, but I have already done that, so we don't need to go over that again. Now let's just launch the game and see if our new bookmark shows up. Now don't forget to enable your new mod. So let's go to bookmark mod, enable, done, play. All right, as you can see, we have our new bookmark. We have our description inside of it. We have our United Kingdom with the description, with the French focus icon, icons and French ideas. Now, again, uh, I have to emphasize, these are not really the ideas that are assigned to the country. This is only for display. And once the player starts playing this country, the ideas will not be there. Okay. Um, we also have Poland with the original description. So as you can see, the bookmark works. There is the slight problem of this whole thing being too small to include uh, the new bookmark entry. And I will probably talk about how to change uh, various elements like these in a future tutorial. Right now, it will be a bit much. Uh, so if you're changing an existing bookmark, uh, it will work for you without having any issues. Um, that is basically all. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. Hey guys, if you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. It helps the channel grow. Check out these other videos on the Iron Workshop that you might enjoy as well. Please consider supporting the Iron Workshop on Patreon. This will allow the channel to grow and become even better. Thank you.